What is going on guys, it's for Zeiss, and today we're going to be going over the massive update that actually came out yesterday. I saw no one talking about it, and I started reading over this, I'm like, how come nobody has talked about any of this stuff? There's a lot of really good information I think you guys are going to want to know, and also this is my first ever update video that I've made on Black Ops 4. I mean, there's been so many updates, it's so hard to keep up to date with them, and I bet you guys are here obviously for that reason. You're just kind of confused what's going on, so uh, I'm going to go step by step detail by detail of everything that is going on in this patch and what we should be expecting to see in the future now before we get further if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely amazing now i've been getting asked quite a bit you know first eyes what is your end goal for black ops 4 and my end goal is to reach 300,000 subscribers now that's more than doubling my sub count so i'd really appreciate if you guys could help me out over here that'd be absolutely fantastic so please subscribe if you guys do enjoy the content over here and don't forget to drop a like on today's video as well if you guys do enjoy it and ring those bells do not forget to ring those bells i don't want you guys to miss any videos streams nothing of that nature at all so make sure you guys ring those turn those bad boys on and without further ado, let's get running into it. So I'm going to leave the patch notes in the description. I'll leave a link to them. And then I'm also going to read a lot of this stuff off. So starting off in multiplayer, we've made some balancing changes to hardcore modes to make SMGs more competitive in hardcore playlists. And we're kicking inactive players more effectively to make sure your teammates are actually team players. So I'm not sure if you guys know this or not, but pistols are actually stronger in hardcore than SMGs are. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Pistols one shot anyone across the map at any given range. It's honestly a little bit ridiculous. And these SMGs are taking like two shots up close, which is honestly annoying. So I was running off pistols in hardcore and having so much fun. I try an SMG out, I'm just getting hit markers. So I think that's the reasoning behind them buffing these SMGs, making them better. So it should be a lot more fun running around with an SMG in hardcore and then as you guys know people have been doing this thing called tier farming where they just sit in lobbies afking and as you guys know when you level up your tiers it's all in game time so uh the more games you're playing the longer you're in games the more you rank it up so people are just afking not even playing and it kind of is frustrating especially when you're playing domination hardpoint and you're you know trying to play these objective game modes and you have teammates who aren't even playing so they're going to be kicking those people a lot more effectively so i'm guessing there's going to be you know you're gone for 30 seconds you're probably kicked so that's pretty nice and uh for you black Ops players uh we've tweaked the performance of the paladin sniper and the concussion grenade we'll continue to monitor the effectiveness of all weapons and equipment for future balance passes jump in and let us know how they feel so uh i'm there's actually some patch notes on the paladin but i'm just gonna kind of foreshadow and i'm gonna think and assume that they probably nerfed the paladin wrong the paladin in blackout was absolutely amazing now this is something you guys are all here for most likely now, a look into next week. Nuketown arrives on PS4 on Tuesday, November 13th. Man, oh man. Oh, I am so pumped. I cannot wait to be... Ooh, baby. You guys already know, man. We're about to tear it up on Nuketown. Stay tuned for a closer look at Black Ops 4's revival of one of our most popular maps of all time. We can't wait to jump in and play with you all very soon. Dude, it is just so nice. Just like, they're barely gonna, giving any information on this, and I I love it. I love it because I know they have something in, in store for us. So I'm guessing probably tomorrow or Monday we are going to be seeing just probably like a map reveal before we actually get to play. It, and I am beyond excited to be playing on Nuketown. It is going to be a blast. Finally, we've got some more major game changes coming early next week. That sounds absolutely amazing. We got some more changes, which is probably gonna happen on Tuesday or the following Friday. And it said major game changes. So I, I cannot wait to see what we're going to be seeing here. These will include new balance tweaks, stability fixes, feature playlists, and gameplay improvements. Plus, new surprises as we celebrate the launch of Nuketown this month in Black Ops 4. Dude, there is so much that we... Like, how did no one go over this? I have not heard any of this. No one talk about this at all. We got major game changes, gameplay improvements, surprises like i oh my gosh I, i'm already in love with this game we're having so many amazing updates this is just fantastic moving on all players get two tier boosts in multiplayer and blackout plus two times nebulum plasma and zombies through 10 a.m pacific time on monday november 12th so basically it's basically double xp for the tier so you can rank up your tiers your tiers twice as fast which is absolutely amazing now there's some zombie you know updates here there's a lot of them and i don't really want to go over it because i i can't really explain it because again i'm not a zombies player so 
Uh, again, the patch notes will be in the description down below if you zombie guys want to, you know, read it for yourselves. Because, again, I don't want to, you know, talk about something I'm not sure about. Uh, moving on, multiplayer, hardcore. SMGs now have a one-hit kill potential at close range in hardcore. Again, uh, finally, the SMGs are buffed. I don't think the pistols are taking over anymore, thankfully. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. I actually really want to see how good SMGs are in hardcore. Honestly, I might just make a video on this eventually. Uh, reduce armor protection so that all weapons will now kill in two hits maximum in hardcore. So that's absolutely amazing. Across the map, it takes at most two bullets, which is absolutely amazing. Hardcore team deathmatch and hardcore kill confirmed now allow two of the same specials per game. So uh, I'm not too familiar with this. I didn't play too much hardcore TDM and kill confirmed, but that's pretty nice now. It's kind of like core where you could use, uh, you know, the same specials twice, which is really cool. Miscellaneous result an issue where players would not be kicked for inactivity in round based game modes if the round ended before the kick timer. So again, this goes along with people getting kicked for just AF King. So I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot more efficient and they're probably gonna be kicked out a lot quicker, which is absolutely awesome. A uh, blackout changes now weapons paladin slightly increased damage to reduce headshots required to take out an enemy equipped with level three armor and 200 health from a trauma kit. Enemies were escaping these fights with 4 health, so we're bumping the damage just enough to cover that gap. Wow, and I thought they nerfed the Paladin. So basically the Paladin's even more power powerful. So you run to that Tactical Paladin, pff, boy you better just run. Okay. Equipment, Concussion Grenade. Players can now change stances after being hit with a Concussion Grenade. So I'm guessing you couldn't crouch or something when you were standing if you were Concussion, which is kind of, you know, that must be really frustrating. While players will be load and overall disorientated they'll now have new opportunities to get back into the fight so this is kind of giving them a second chance an opportunity to take some cover maybe crouch down lay down something of that nature also if you guys do or do not know with the removal of the nine bang from blackout we've added a scaled back white flash screen effect to the concussion grade and we'll monitor the performance of these balance changes closely so they're basically changing the concussion a little bit and making it half concussion and half nine bang, which is pretty cool because the nine bang, as you guys know, is absolutely overpowered. So crazy in multiplayer. I don't know why it's still there and removed from blackout, but hey, shout out to you blackout players. I mean, that's awesome for you guys. Character missions. Change the description of character mission items to clarify the unlock requirements per playlist. So duos and quad. So I'm guessing the description for this game which probably messed up a little bit or whatnot. Now very quickly, um, I, I kind of feel bad for kind of skipping the zombies updates, but I'm just gonna, you know, sum it all up. I just read over it really quickly. Basically, they just resolved a bunch of issues with games crashing, uh, just doing a bunch of different things. So I guess it's really good. I saw a lot of complaining on Twitter from some of the bigger zombie guys saying their games were crashing um, from doing specific things in the game. And hey, shout out to those guys. That's really awesome that they finally fixed this really annoying issue. I can't even imagine, you know, doing something specific in multiplayer, like reloading, and then you get kicked out of the game for doing so. So, and that's really awesome. They fixed a bunch of that stuff. Again, link in the description if you guys want to read the patch notes on your own. But that does sum up all of the patch notes that did occur on Friday. Now, I'm sorry I'm kind of like a day late on this, but um, I was just reading these super late at night, and I'm like, dang, you know, I, I, I should have went over this, but... I'm gonna start going over these updates a lot more. Um, a lot of these things are like very significant. I mean, SMGs and hardcore, they're now buffed. They're way better than they were before. Cause as you guys know, like I said, pistols were taking over in hardcore. And now SMGs are actually like very, very good. And I saw no one talking about it. So I think I'm gonna go give that a try. You guys might see a video um, on the hardcore SMGs and just how well they perform now. So that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the little update here. And guys, again, drop a like if you guys are pumped for Nuketown on Tuesday. We're gonna have some teasers here in the next few days. I'm pretty sure showing us the full map reveal. It's gonna be a blast, man. I'm gonna be live streaming once this does go live at noon on Tuesday. So if you guys wanna miss that, again, make sure you guys are subscribed with those notifications on and you will not miss anything whatsoever. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Can online. Expired. Oh. Fly break kill. Another satisfied custom out, override system available. Overriding medical protocols. <laughs>